Alright guys, welcome to another beer review and uh, this is one that I picked up from Northern Beer Temple in Wigan so first and foremost, big shout out one of my favourite bottle shops great range, great prices, great company and uh, yeah, if you're ever in the Wigan area or nearby then pop in and uh, you're guaranteed to come out with some really nice beers and uh, I certainly have so uh, of course there will be a um, Northern Beer Temple related playlist of all the beers that I've purchased and of course links to the social media and websites. And while we're in Wigan, um, big shout out to uh, Wigan Central as well which is um, becoming quite popular. Um, a nice craft slash real ale bar uh, right next to uh, Wigan North Western train station. So perfect for a pre-train drink, perfect for a post-train drink and uh, yeah, some really exciting stuff happening there as well. So big, big shout out. It's great to see a place like Wigan getting into this sort of stuff. And there's, like, there's even like breweries popping up um, within that area. I mean, uh, Prospect are, you know, really well known. Um, Riddington Brewing Company as well. Or brewery, I can't really remember the name. But uh, yeah, it's great to see a place like Wigan really embracing this and uh, long may it continue. <clears throat> so, uh, today, we've not got a beer from Wigan, um, but we've got one that sounds absolutely bloody fantastic, if I do say so, and it's from Boundary, and it's part of their collaboration series, and this is the You're Not Getting Any, which was brewed in collaboration with Zapato, or Zapato, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but I think they're a microbrewery in Yorkshire, and... Um, Boundary are based in Belfast. So I think um, Boundary are sort of like a community sort of oriented brewery um, and I think collaboration is a big key. I'm just assuming um, but yeah if you go onto the, the website it's like boundarybrewing.coop so I'd imagine it's you know quite a community based or at least that's what I'd imagine the ethos is. But yeah, Boundary is a cooperative brewery owned by its members, so maybe you can buy into it. I'm not too sure, but you can find out more about the brewery uh, by clicking those links down below. But uh, yeah, this is an Imperial Oatmeal Milk Stout with blueberries. I have to pick it up because it has blueberries in it. This beer is bottle conditioned, please sort upright, contains gluten and lactose, Brewed and bottled at Boundary Brewing Collective or Cooperative Limited, and that's in, uh, yeah, don't need to give the address, but uh, their information will be down below. Uh, ABV is 10% ABV, fridge certain or bottle, best before the 1st of the 5th, 2020. And uh, yeah, I love the simplicity of the artwork, just a close up photo of some tiles, but uh, yeah, I love the, the typography as well, and it's a simple black crown. And uh, I realised that I don't have a bottle opener, so look away now because it could be pretty cringy for some people. I'm going to have to use my teeth. Just bear with me one second. There we go. But yeah, nice amount of smoke. I swear one day I'm going to do that and I'm going to like fucking snap my tooth or something like that. Anyway, using my uh, new favourite glass, my two old glass, which was also picked up from Northern Beer Temple. And uh, yeah, look at that, you can see where my uh, my man breasts are. Happy days. Anyway, let's pour this beer into you. Oh my god. I'm interrupted by the glug. That is pouring beautifully. Complete change of tone then, I do apologise. Alright, jeez, I can smell it from here. I'm going to swirl these bottom bits and put it all in. Look at that. The foam is nearly as dark as the beer. Oh my word, we're off to a really good start. I think you will agree. Anyway, we'll put you there. So beer in a the glass then. And uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, I'm not going to say it's jet black, but it's got that sort of like really dark, intense, like roasty, oaky sort of look to it. But it's like, I don't know. It's like got this sort of like sheen to it as well. And uh, as you can tell by the head, it's like a dark, dark brown. Um, it's gone from beige, it's gone to tan, and it's gone a little bit further. Almost as dark as the beer. 
but um, yeah that looks so delightful doesn't it anyway let's see what we get on the nose and swirl it without spilling any it's blueberry muffins it's fucking blueberry muffins in a glass oh, that's just beautiful um it's not the most aromatic or pungent of beers, but it's like full of really dense, mature, not too sweet, but sweet enough aromas. In fact, let's uh, so you don't have to see my tits anymore. It's just just you. Uh, to be honest, would you rather see my face or my tits? I don't know. What does Harry from Blue Nose Beer Reviews prefer? Anyway. Oh, yeah, that blueberry is so gorgeous. It's got that, like... Typical like blueberry jam almost. You know you get a blueberry muffin and in like the, the base of the muffin it's got like the, the blueberry like goo. That's what it's reminding me of. Chocolate cake batter mix. Lovely slight muscovado sugar aroma. Very subtle um, coffee aromas. It's like coffee with like blueberry syrup in it. It's just wonderful. It smells absolutely fantastic. 10% ABV. That alcohol is masked wonderfully. It really, really is. Oh, it just works. I'm sorry, I'm having a bit of a moment with this beer. It smells absolutely wonderful. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. There's so much going on in that beer. <coughs> Excuse me. Mmm, <coughs> blueberry, blueberry phlegm. Apologies about that. What a disgusting video this has been so far. Um, that blueberry is adding so much. It's like each sip you get a different sort of property from blueberry and like various variations on blueberry like you get a slight tartness from like a really nice ripe blueberry you get that lovely sweet like blueberry jam sort of flavor there's this almost slight lovely decadent synthetic blueberry flavoring element to it as well which of course doesn't override the actual natural blueberry characters but thankfully the base beer as well in there It's such a well done stout. It really, really is. It's not the heaviest, but it is so silky smooth and velvety. Lovely bit of earthiness on the back end after that blueberry has subsided. Lovely roasted notes. That like lactose is mixing beautifully with the blueberry. The chocolate is mixing beautifully with the blueberry. You've got like, as if you've got blueberry porridge or blueberries in porridge with the oats. It's just all of this beer works beautifully together. And 10% ABV. I think not. Uh, they've masked that wonderfully. There's like a slight warming going down as I'm drinking it. But you could get seriously carried away with this beer. Lovely coffee roastiness. Um, I've had some coffees recently because I've been subscribed to Packed Coffee. Um, because I've taken my ponce level up a, up a notch. And uh, the, some of the flavour notes, like you get some berry notes in some coffees. So I'm getting that. I'm not too sure what blend it is. Um, but it's one that I've had recently. But then again, you've got like almost a blueberry syrup in there. You've got blueberry pie. Because um, there's this lovely sort of like sugary pastry element to it as well. But it is a dark stout. You know, it's just dark beer fundamentally. But yeah, it's just it's just going down way too easily. Blueberry tarts, blueberry muffins, blueberry jam, 
on rye bread. Lovely dark roasty tones. The milk stout itself is just beautiful. And I think that's one of those beers that you could do so much with. Then just elevate it and take it in so many different situations. I'd love to just try the Imperial Oatmeal Stout without the blueberries added to see how that would be. <laughs> but the blueberries work so damn well in this beer. And I'd be a little bit louder, but it's uh, nearly 12 o'clock. And um, I've just not long since got in work and everyone's asleep, so I can't really be too loud. Not that I'm like the sort of person who jumps around in excitement. When I have a good beer, I like just like go into myself for a second and just enjoy the moment. And this is one of those beers. It's exactly what I wanted and more from that. And I'm really damn glad that I picked it up now. Lovely stuff. The more I'm getting towards the bottom, the more it's getting like a blueberry juice. So that slight tartness is coming in. So I'd imagine when it's right at the bottom, I might get a big kick of blueberry. So you get like different flavours as the beer progresses and uh, oxidises in the glass, if oxidise is the correct term. But no, that, that's absolutely wonderful. And uh, I want to try more Boundary beers. I want to try more Sapato beers. And um, yeah fantastic stuff it really really is i can't fault it um i really can't fault it it's what i wanted with a little bit more so robust but simple at the same time if that can work and one that i would happily devour like two or three bottles of this if i could so it's uh, safe to say ladies and gentlemen uh, it's another 10 out of 10 from me I love blueberries in general, so there's a little bit of bias in there. But yeah, check out Boundary, uh, check out Zapato, check out Northern Beer Temple. All the links will be down below. If you've tried this beer, then let me know your thoughts and opinions. That was like sort of like nice and abstract way to uh, incorporate audience participation. And uh, if you've got any recommendations for beers like this, as always, uh, those uh, ideas are always welcome. And of course, if any of my friends and um, fellow beer tubers have reviewed this one, their links will be included down below as well. So uh, yeah, 2018 has been a damn good year for beer so far. And I've still got another half of it yet. So I'm looking forward to it. Don't know if my liver will, but uh, my taste buds certainly do. And my soul. And this is one of those like soul warming. It's like a hug in a glass. It's like, you know, your grandma's blueberry pie. Which sounds a little bit dirtier than it should do. Um, but only because you're filthy minded and you've corrupted me. But uh, yeah, if you love blueberries, you're going to love this one. You really, really are. And if you love a good milk stout, they've taken it to a completely different level and just masked that ABV beautifully. I mean, the beer's nearly all gone. I've just devoured that. It's just so easy drinking. Anyway, I've waffled on for way too long. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. I shall hopefully see you all later. Cheers.